The key to long-lasting weight loss is all in your head. Hi, I'm Nordin Zwarek. Yes, weight loss is an inner game, like everything else. Your body is the servant of your mind, and you should treat it well. Knowing that will allow you to first see, feel, then create the body you want. But this video is not so much about the inner game, but the outer game. There are other videos I will make and are already out there talking about the emotional, mental, and, and, and spiritual aspect of weight loss. This one is more of a, about giving you a certain plan to quickly and safely shed fat. To quickly, safely shed fat. So how do we do that? First, a quick disclaimer. Please consult with your physician before starting any nutritional or, or exercise plan. Consult with your physician before starting any exercise or nutritional plan. So what do you need to do in order to shed weight or shed fat safely, quickly, and effectively? Five things, and five things only. Assuming you're healthy, the number one is to have five small and healthy meals containing vegetables and protein, any kinds of vegetable and protein, five meals spaced out every three hours to four hours max. Again, five meals, mostly based on veggies and protein. You don't have to measure anything. Just make sure you're eating enough to satisfy your hunger. Now, the number two thing is drink at least one gallon of water. Drink at least one gallon of water a day. And don't drink the gallon altogether. Sip water all throughout the day. You can drink a glass of water a few minutes prior to eating and wait a little bit after you ate to drink water. Number three, the kitchen closes at 7 p.m. The kitchen closes at 7 p.m. You're not eating, eating anymore. You can drink water, but no food after 7 p.m. Now I get this question all the time. What if I go to sleep at 2 p.m., 2 a.m.? What if I go to sleep at 2 a.m.? Well, you can then eat or close the kitchen at nine. But for most of us who go to sleep at uh, adequate hours, like 10, maximum 11 p.m., stop eating at 7 p.m. Number four, sleep at least eight hours. Sleep at least eight hours, good quality sleep. That is going to help you balance your hormones in order to make the process more effective. Number five, exercise. Exercise at least 30 to 60 minutes, a combination of cardio and strength and flexibility stretching. Five days a week. You can do six days a week if you want to for three or four weeks. Exercise, 30 to 60 minutes a day. Cardio, strength, flexibility. You can add walking if you want to outside on your days off. 
that's fine. So again, number one, eat five healthy, small healthy balanced meals based on veggies and protein. Number two, drink a gallon of water a day. Number three, kitchen closes at 7 p.m. Kitchen closes at 7 p.m. Number four, get at least eight hours of sleep. Number five, exercise 30 to 60 minutes, five to six days a week. If you do this to the letter, you will see amazing results. I recommend that you do this for four weeks, then you can switch to another nutritional plan. I hope that this video is very helpful, was very helpful, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, visit my website at nordinezwareg.com, nordinezwareg.com. Thank you for watching. Be safe and be healthy.